In this video, we're going to look at what's called compound interest and how to tackle questions that involve compound interest. Now, compound interest is just interest as it's added on to an account balance year on year. So it's compounded on year on year. Now, we saw in the last video of how we can use what we called the multiplier to help us with percentage appreciation and depreciation questions. And we're going to use the same uh, technique here because you could answer this question with a whole lot of working, taking you a whole lot of time. So we're asked to calculate the final balance when £650 is invested at 2% per annum for three years. Well, let's just pretend that it's invested for one year. What would we have? We would have a balance of £650 and at the end of the first year, it would now be worth 102%. Remember, the original value is 100%. Add the 2% interest on, we end up with 102%, and that is just 1.02 as a decimal. Now, whatever we get when we do that calculation is the balance at the end of year one. Now, the balance at the end of year two is going to be the end of year one balance multiplied by 102% as well. Okay, so what we've got here in the red box is the balance at the end of year two. Now to get the balance at the end of year three, what we need to do is get the balance at the end of year two, so everything that's in the red box, and multiply that by 102% or 1.02. So what we find in the green box is going to be the balance at the end of year three. So you've got your year one balance in the, at the end of year one balance in the pink box, you've got your end of year two balance in the red box, and you've got your end of year three balance in the green box. Now, how can we write that shorter? Well, all you've got is £650, and you multiply by your multiplier, but instead of writing this out, multiply it again and again and again, we just write your multiplier to the power of 3. Okay, so what we're looking at for our working, if we're going to take this approach, is the original balance multiplied by the multiplier, which will depend on our interest rate. And this number here is going to be however many years your interest uh, is going to be calculated over. Okay, so we have three years, and so our power is three. And this gives us an answer of 689 pounds and 79 pence to the nearest penny. Okay, so this is the quick method of getting a compound interest question answered. Okay, so let's look at these questions and let's see how we would get on. Okay, so. First question, we have 6,500 being invested at a rate of 2% for three years. So all you would do for your working is write down the original balance. Your multiplier is going to be 102%, which as a decimal is 1.02, and your power is going to be three because it's being invested for three years. Work all that out, and you get that the final balance is 6,897 pounds and 85 pence. Okay, let's look at the second one. We have 10,700 being invested at 3% for five years. So again, our working, we just write the original balance. Now my multiplier is going to be 100% the original amount plus the 3% interest, so it's 103%. Now as a decimal, that's 1.03, and our power is going to be five because we are doing it over the course of five years. Okay, we do that, we get an answer of £12,404.23. On to the third question. We have this time £500 being invested at 3.2% for two years. Now, write your original investment. Your money at the end of the year you're going to be looking at 100% plus 3.2%. So the original amount, 100%, and 
plus 3.2 percent. So you're talking of 103.2 percent. Now as a decimal, percent of the member just means out of 100. So what we're talking about is 1.032. Okay, 103.2 percent divided by 100, that gives you a decimal of 1.032. It's over the course of two years. So to the power of two and your end of year balance will be 500 and 32 pounds and 51 pence to the nearest penny. Okay. Now, finally, you've got 120,000. This time being invested at 1.7%. So you multiply it, it's going to be 101.7%. Now, as a decimal, that's 1.071. Sorry, 1.017 it is. 1.017 and your power is going to be 4 okay don't write down just a hundred and think of it as 1.01 .01 because it's 1.017 okay 1.017 percent you can't just ditch the last digit so once we work all that out we end up with an answer of 128,000 370 pounds and 45 pence to the nearest penny. Okay, now this method can be used for any steady appreciation question or any steady depreciation question and you can get to your answer in one line of working and you're saving an awful lot of time. Okay, so work out the multiplier and the power will be whatever uh, the duration of the investment is. Okay, so here's a few questions for yourselves. Pause the video, work through them, and see how you get on. Okay, pause the video, do them yourselves, and see how you get on. Okay, so this first one, we're going to have 4,200. Our multiplier is going to be 1.02, and we're doing to the power of 3. And you end up with an answer of 4,457 pounds and 7 pence. The second one, we have 12,500. Your multiplier is going to be 1.03. Your power is going to be 4. So you do all that on the calculator and you get an answer of 14,068 pounds and 86 pence. And for the third one, we have 250 pounds. Your multiplier is going to be 1.026, okay, because it's 100% plus 2.6%, so 102.6% as a decimal is 1.026, and your power is 5, and this works out at 284 pounds and 23 pence, okay, and finally. If we have 650,000, and that's going to be invested in an account that gives 1.3% interest, your multiplier is going to be 1.013, and your power is going to be 2. And that gives us a final balance of 667,009 pounds and 85 pence, if I can squeeze that in. Okay. So six hundred and sixty seven thousand and nine pounds and eighty five pence. Now, one thing is worth mentioning before we finish this video. All of the questions we've looked at here have asked you to find the final balance. Some questions will ask you to work out how much interest has been made. So all you would do for that is just work out the difference between what's in this column and what is in the original investment column. Okay, if you're asked to work out how much interest you made or how much money you made uh, over the course of the investment. So just keep your eyes peeled, read the question carefully, use this method to save you time and to get your answer down quickly. Okay, so the next video we'll look at for percentages, we'll look at uh, reverse percentage. So tune in for that one.